Welcome back to another video. Today, let's talk about the sock hole pit or soak away pit, which has been constructed. It's currently not done, uh, but I, there's a few things about it I'd like to show you, which you get to understand um, once I do the explanation for them. Then, if you want to implement some, you sure can. So, uh, without not talking further, let's just go ahead and take a look at what has been done here so this is the so-called pit which has been done the size of it is four feet by five feet yeah that is the size of it and then the depth of it is about eight feet um this is not the usual so pit you maybe a lot of people are used to yeah because of how it looks so i'll just tell you um so now we have a um, concrete which has been cast down and then we have the blocks um, done the first layer of blocks were done sideways so that was um, that felt like on the side not the normal side uh, blocks are being laid and then after that the subsequent ones were um, laid normally now we are using uh, curry dust type of blocks for this particular work um, so if you look closely you notice that there are some holes which has some pipes in them so before we started doing this I was discussing this with my uh, mason how effective we can do this so that it won't end up bringing a lot of problems so the traditional so cool pits which I've done most of them will just have spaces between the blocks and it goes from the bottom to the top some part of the top so the idea is that once there's water in it then it goes out for the soil to just grab the water however the challenge he told me about that was that sometimes the soil or the sand end up coming through those holes into the pit so you open a pit one time you notice that it's getting full with water and then sand in it so then the idea was okay um, then we are going to not go by that method instead we are going to be using pipes um yes we are going to be using pipes so um, what a pipe is going to do is that it's going to allow water to go out however the pipe is not going to go in a straight way it is going to go in a bent way so let's say about 45 degrees angle down so that when there's water in the system it can easily flow out but water from outside and sun from outside can't come in through the pipes so that is basically the whole idea behind the use of the pipe so you notice if you look closely you notice that the pipe goes down at a certain angle some 45 yeah a different angle so you notice these ones yeah so that is how the soak hole pit or soak away pit is going to be done now the biofuel system is also going to be around this area the idea for it is that once the sewage which is going to come from that side comes into the pit that is the biofuel system the enzymes are going to do their thing feed on the feces and then the liquid is going to come into this uh, pit so there's going to be sort of a sloping a slight sloping which is going to make that possible so once there's any liquid in here it just comes in here so that is how that is going to be done so that is like about two feet by three feet here and the depth is like uh, two feet also over here so there's going to be slabs which are going to be put on top once that is done the same for this as well so that there isn't going to be any entry of water into the system so the pipes are going to come from here so the washroom is somewhere around the 
so the pipes are brought out once we lay the two inches uh pipe for the the soak away or the waste water that is going to come somewhere here there's going to be a bend here which is going to make it come here another bend here which is going to direct it into this pit and then for the sewage it's just going to come directly into it now for the wastewater we're going to have clean out so that should in case there's any blockage or anything it's easier to get them out the same for the sewage as well so there's going to be a clean out installed in between the distance from here now the total estimated cost for this entire work that is including materials and labor hopefully around 3,000 cities um, for materials we are using about we're using five inches blocks we're using about 100 pieces of it for everything here and then we we'll need some iron rods we need some cement and then uh, some stones here of course we already have stones and sand so that is not going to be a problem and then after that we will get the fiber for the sukkah and that is the dye biodigester cyst so the pit took about two days to be dug um, it would have taken one day however it started raining so uh, we couldn't finish it that day and I must say that particular rain was very very like it was a lot of rain that day so it almost got the pit you know filled with water so we had to hold for some days collect the water from it make sure it was you know dry before we could continue there again and then right after collecting the water it started raining again that's on a different day so it took us some we had to wait for some time for about like a week for the rains to calm down and then do the laying of the blocks so because of the activity of water we had to add waterproof cement to um the normal you know uh, mortar that was mixed as well as the concrete so that um, the rains or the water doesn't end up becoming a problem in the soil um, so that was part of what we did here so let's talk a little bit about the biodigester or biofill system which is going to be installed here before arriving at how to go about everything i had to do a lot of research so i watched a couple of channels i watched a lot of videos i had to read, do a lot of reading to get the whole understanding of how the bio digester system works and how to you know uh, effectively go about its installation as well as its usage some of the, the don'ts do's and don'ts of it before arriving about um, at the design and then um, you know its implementation so one of the things i did learn uh, from all my research was that there's this um, enzymes who feed on feces that convert the solid um, maybe feces into liquid and then the liquid just goes um, into maybe the soil depending on how the installation is done so this um, enzymes come about with the help of this fiber which are mostly used in the system so doing some implementations uh, there's there's so many implementations i must say i've watched over 10 different implementations of biodigester it's very interesting and all of these seem to work so what we are trying to do is um, during the installation which i'll show you how it's going to be done the first layer of block is going to be on the side to bring sort of step out and then the other layers are just going to be um, laid normally now the first step is going to help us be able to um, create sort of a bed to be able to put things on top um, we haven't decided on the material to put on top before the fiber is going to be spread on top yet but it has to be something which is not going to rust or it's not going to corrode or anything yes yeah, so probably maybe plastic or something so or maybe coated metal something which is not going to rust so once that is um, done we put uh, once the blocks are done and then they step out we put the uh, whatever material on top of it and then we spread the obit remember we spread the bio um that is the fiber on top of it so that um at the end um, the feces comes falls on top of it the enzymes in it feeds on it the liquid that comes out of it goes into the the bed beneath the bed and then just slope or drain into the so-called pit and then once that gets to a certain level also goes out um, at various points into the soil so that um, at the end we are not going to have our pit maybe full for a very long time 
yeah and even once it's filled with water to a certain point the water can be drained out because we don't have any um drainage systems over here so that is the whole idea of this um biodigester system which is going to be installed um yeah we decided to try this or do this ourselves because we've done a lot of research enough research to you know done some small consultation also to be able to know the best way to go about it as part of using biodigester uh, system in, in your house one of the things i've learned we actually have one and i've learned from the challenges that we experienced with it for some time now it's been sorted out so you don't have to use hard detergent or chemicals to you know wash your bowl or your yeah the wc to you know come else it's the chemicals are just going to kill the enzymes so they are special um, cleaning agents that are used for that so um since we are not done with the installation, I'll just leave um, whatever I've said so far here. And then once we are finished with everything, we we'll come back and look at the whole setup and everything so you get to better understand the whole process. So thank you for watching.